Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. For this session, we will continue with topic 4.2, graph of trigonometric function. And let's recall the two types of trigonometric graph that we learned before. The first one is y equal sine x. So, so this is the shape of the standard graph of y equals sine x. The amplitude is 1 and the period is 2 pi. Okay, period is the size of one complete cycle. And half of the graph is pi here, pi over 2, here, 3 pi over 2. Okay, it can be divided into four sub-interval. Okay, this is the standard form of graph y equal sine x. The second type of trigonometric graph is y equal cos x. And the standard shape of the graph is like this. The amplitude is also 1 and the period is 2 pi. So here, pi over 2, pi, and here 3 pi over 2. This graph can also be divided into 4 sub-interval. Okay. So, the next subtopic under 4.2, graphing trigonometric function without using transformation technique. There are four steps involved. Step number one, identify the amplitude and period. So, again, this is the amplitude, 1, negative 1. Period is the size of one complete cycle. So this one, the period is 2 pi. And this one, the period is also 2 pi. Okay, these two are the standard graph of trigo function for y equal sine x and y equal cos x. So that is step 1. Identify amplitude and period. Step 2. Divide the period into 4 sub-interval. Because uh, untuk mudahkan kita plot. Okay, like this one. The period is 2 pi when we divide into 4 sub-interval. So, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2. Jadi, mudah kita nak plot. Kita boleh plot sini, 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 sini. Then, kita cuma sambung. Okay, untuk cos pun sama. Plot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, kita sambung. Okay, 4 sub-interval. Number 3, plot the x-axis according to the values of sub-interval. Inilah. Okay, kita dah bahagikan period bahagi 4. So, kita plot pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi. Depending on the value of the period. And then, the last step, step number 4, plot and extend the graph. Okay, bila kita dah plot, kita sambungkan. Okay, to get the graph. Let's look at this example. Example 18. Graph the function y equal negative 2 cos 2x for negative 5, negative 5 less equal x less equal 5. Okay, step number 1. We want to identify the amplitude and period. This is the amplitude. So, modulus negative 2 equal to and then period this is our alpha or omega okay uh, in the notebook it use the symbol alpha but in the homework it use the symbol omega so either one lah to get period t formula is 2 pi over alpha okay alpha is 2 so to get period t 2 pi over 2, period equal pi. <laughs> Step number 2, divide the period into 4 sub-interval. So, pi 
divide by 4 equal pi over 4. <coughs> and then step 3 and step 4. Uh, they combine. Yeah? Okay. So, you can see here that the equation is negative 2 cos. So, if negative, y equal negative cos x. The shape of the graph is like this. Okay, terbalik. Sebab negative. Ni cos x, ini negative cos x. If y equal negative sin x, the shape of the graph is like this. Okay, terbalik juga. So, for y equal negative 2 cos 2 x, First, the shape of the graph is like this. And then, the amplitude is 2. So, 2, negative 2, period, pi. So, the size of one cycle is pi. Pi divided by 4, pi over 4. So... First sub-interval, pi over 4. Second sub-interval, pi over 2. Third sub-interval, 3 pi over 4. Okay, pi over 4 plus pi over 4 plus pi over 4 plus pi over 4. But the question wants us to sketch from x equal negative 5. Until x equal pi. So, kalau one complete cycle ni, from zero until pi saja. Sebab tu, kita do another cycle. Sebab soalan nak from negative pi until pi. Tambahkan je lah satu lagi cycle. Okay. Or... You can start from plotting. So, 2, negative 2, plot, pi over 4, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, pi. So, we know the shape of graph negative cos starting from here, here, you know, here, naik eh, and then here. Turun, turun, and then extend, and this is your graph, until pi. Next, do another one, until negative pi, okay, and that is the answer. Okay. Graphing trigonometric function without using transformation technique. This one is from your homework. Okay, let's take a look at the example first. Given y equal to sine 3x for negative pi less equal x less equal pi. As for step 1, we want to identify the amplitude and period. Okay. 2 sin 3x amplitude is this one. 2 modulus 2 equal 2. And then period. Ni adalah alpha ataupun omega. So the formula to find period is 2 pi over alpha. So 2 pi divided by 3. Okay, 3 here. And that is our period. Sub interval. Okay, period divided by 4. 2 pi over 3 divided by 4, we get pi over 6. Okay, the graph is sine. So, the standard the standard shape for y equals sine x is like this. The standard shape. Okay. So, the amplitude is 2. 2, negative 2. Period, size of 1 cycle to pi over 3. This is the size of 1 cycle until here. Okay, 4 pi over 6 is 2 pi over 3 lah kalau kita simplify. Okay. And then, how to 
sketch. Uh, the, the question want to sketch from negative pi until pi. So, one cycle ni cuma sampai 2 pi per 3. So, kita kena extend lagi. Sebab soalan nak sampai pi. 6 pi over 6 is pi lah kalau simplify. And then, we need to do the same here until negative pi. Okay. If you want to plot, okay, like this, you know the amplitude is 2, negative 2, and then sub-interval pi over 6. So, pi over 6 plus pi over 6, you get 2 pi over 6, plus pi over 6, you get 3 pi over 6, plus pi over 6, you get 4 pi over 6, okay, 4 sub-interval. And then we can plot. Naik atas. Ikut shape. Graph Y equals sine X. Naik. Turun. Turun lagi. Dan naik. And then extend the graph. Sambung. 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 Okay. Tapi kita tahu. Soalan nak daripada negative pi until pi. Ini baru 2 per 3 pi. Okay. Kita kena sambung lagi. Tambah lagi pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, plus plus another pi over 6, 6 pi over 6. So, 6 pi over 6, kalau simplify dapat pi lah. Kena sambung plot ni, naik atas mula dan turun bawah, extend. Okay, so this is on the right. From 0 until pi and we need to do the same for the left. Left, awak boleh follow lah. Okay, follow. And this one is until negative pi. You can do the same. You can plot, extend until negative pi. Okay. Uh, this one is from homework 82. Question number one. Y equal negative 2 cos 2x. Okay, the question asks us to sketch the graph without using transformation technique. Okay, sketch from 0 less equal x less equal 2 pi. Step number 1. Identify the amplitude. So, here negative 2. Amplitude equal modulus negative 2. So, amplitude equal 2. Identify the period 2 pi over alpha or 2 pi over omega. Okay, the value of alpha is here 2. So, period equal pi. Number 2, sub interval t divided by 4. So, sub interval pi over 4. And then, Negative 2 cos 2x. The standard shape for this graph is like this. Okay, y equal negative cos x. So we will try to follow this to sketch. Okay, let's start. The amplitude is 2, negative 2. Sub interval pi over 4 pi over 4 plus pi over 4 is pi over 2 plus another pi over 4 we get 3 over 4 pi plus pi over 4 is pi ok let's start with 4 sub interval ok let's plot Following the shape of y equal negative cos x. So, starting from here, 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 here. Then, let's extend the graph. Okay. This is for one cycle. And then, the question want us to sketch until... 2 pi. Okay, one cycle, the period is pi. Okay, betul. And then we need to extend. Kita kena extend. Kena tambah lagi satu cycle lah. Okay, tambah lagi satu cycle until 
to phi because the equation want us to sketch from 0 until to phi okay, ni boleh tambah lagi phi plus 1 plus phi over 4 is 5 over 4 5 over 4 pi plus another pi over 4 we get 3 over 2 pi plus another pi over 4 we get 7 over 4 pi so this is the final answer Okay, amplitude 2, negative 2, period pi, so the size of one cycle is pi, sampai sini eh, satu cycle, so period dia pi, but since the question want us to sketch until 2 pi, we need to add another cycle, okay, sampai 2 pi, and this is the answer. Next question number 2, y equal 3 sin x over 2. 4, negative 2 pi less equal x, less equal 2 pi. Okay, to sketch without using transformation technique. Number 1, identify the amplitude and period. So, this is the amplitude. Modulus 3 equal 3. And then, for amplitude, here is the value of alpha. So, 2 pi divided by alpha. 2 pi divided by 1 over 2. So, period equal 4 pi. The size of one cycle is 4 pi. Number 2, subinterval. Subinterval period divided by 4. 4 pi divided by 4 equal to pi. Okay. And then for step, step 3 and step 4, we can plot the, we can plot and extend the graph. Okay. The graph is positive sign. Positive sign. And we will follow this shape. Okay. The amplitude is 3 negative 3 the sub interval is pi and the period is 4 pi so pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi okay, kita buat untuk satu cycle dulu okay, following the shape of y equal sign x here here plot eh and turun and then turun dan naik semula. Okay, let's extend the graph. Alright. So, this is for one cycle of the graph. Kita boleh sambung lagi sebelah sini. Negative pi. Negative 2 pi. Negative 3 pi. Negative 4 pi. Alright, so this is from negative 4 pi until 4 pi. But the question only want us to sketch from negative 2 pi until 2 pi. So we will take from here until here. Okay, but why did I start from one complete cycle? Because that's easier. Okay, kita buat dulu satu cycle. And then we do another cycle. Kemudian baru kita ambil dari mana sampai mana. And that will be our final answer lah. During your test or final exam, you can do it like me, step by step. And then, ni macam step pertama. And then for the final step, kita bagilah the final graph. This one is from negative 2 pi until 
to pi. So in the middle here is pi negative pi. And this is the final answer. Okay. The question only wants us to sketch from negative to pi until 2 pi. Okay. Next subtopic, transformation of trigonometric graph. So previously, we learned how to sketch the graph without using transformation technique. But this time, we will use transformation technique. Example 19. Use the graph of y equals sine x to sketch the following graph for 0 less equal x less equal to pi. Okay. Y equal start from y equal sine x. So this is the standard graph of y equal sine x for sub interval okay the period is 2 pi and the amplitude is 1 so this is the standard for y equals sine x a the question wants us to sketch y equals sine x plus pi over 2 okay bila ada perubahan pada x ni maksudnya ada phase shift okay itu ada sikit berbeza lah dengan transformation teknik yang kita belajar sebelum ni Okay, sebab dalam trigonometric graph, kita ada phase shift. How to find phase shift? Take the value inside bracket. So, x plus pi over 2 equals 0. We get x equal negative pi over 2. Negative. Negative maksudnya, graph kita akan bergerak ke kiri. Okay, negative pi over 2 gerak ke kiri sebanyak pi per 2 unit. So, ini daripada kosong, dia akan pergi negative pi over 2. Daripada pi over 2, pergi kosong. Okay, gerak ke kiri eh. Okay, sebab gerak ke kiri sebanyak negative, sebanyak pi over 2. Kosong, pergi negative pi over 2. Pi over 2, pergi kosong. Pi, pergi pi over 2. 3 pi over 2, pergi pi. 2 pi pergi dekat 3 pi over 2. So kalau kita nak cuba sketch. Macam ni. Okay, sebab dia bergerak ke kiri. So, ini negative pi over 2, 0. Ini pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2. Okay, starting from negative pi over 2, ends at 3 pi over 2. Okay, but the question... Want us to sketch from 0 until 2 pi. So, we take from here, 0, here, until 3 pi over 2. And we need to extend, okay, until 2 pi. So, this is the shape that we get. Okay, ini kalau kita pindahkan satu cycle. Satu cycle tadi kita pindah pi over 2 ke kiri, kita dapat bentuk macam ni. Okay, tapi kita tengoklah soalan nak from 0 until 2 pi. So, we take from here. Okay, here is 3 pi over 2 and then kena extend lah. Kena naik semula. So, we get from 0 until 2 pi and this is the final answer. Okay, for B, tadi sign x plus 2. Okay, kita dah dapat bentuk macam ni. Sekarang ada darab 2. Okay, bila darab 2 kat sini, by using transformation technique, maksudnya kita kena multiply y by Okay, tadi amplitude kita Y ataupun Y, 1, negatif 1. Okay, sebab ada 2 kat depan. Multiply Y by 2 jadi 2, negatif 2. Okay, 
jadi lebih panjang, lebih tinggi. Kat sini masih sama lah from 0 until 2 pi. C. Y equal negative 2 sin x plus pi over 2. So, yang tambah kat sini adalah negative. Bila negative, mesti reflection. So, negative ni kat depan. Kita akan reflex x axis. So, the shape of the graph reflex. Okay, from negative 2, pergi dekat 2. So, macam inilah bentuk dia sekarang untuk reflection. And then, y equal 1 minus 2 sin x plus pi over 2. The changes is 1 plus. 1 plus maksudnya move upward. Move upward by 1 unit. So, from negative 2, dia akan pergi pada negative 1. From 2, akan pergi pada 3. So, negative 1, 3. X masih samalah from 0 until 2 pi. And this is the final answer. Okay, this is when we sketch the graph by using transformation technique. So, again, we start from y equals sin x. We do it step by step. And then for x plus pi over 2, ini ada phase shift. Macam mana nak dapat phase shift, take the value inside bracket, x plus pi over 2 equal 0, x equal negative pi over 2, maksudnya move to the left, okay, move to the left by pi over 2. Okay, tadi kita discuss, ini bentuk yang asal untuk satu cycle, gerak pi per 2 ke kiri, tapi soalan nak from 0 until 2 pi, jadi kita akan start from 0, Kalau ikut ni sampai 3 pi per 2. Yelah, kalau asalnya 2 pi kan. Tapi 2 pi dah pergi sini. So, kita kena extend. Extend. Dapatlah sampai sini 2 pi. Okay. And then, this is the changes here. Darab dengan 2. So, multiply y by 2. 1 negative 1 jadi 2 negative 2. And then, tambah negative. Okay, bila negative, maksudnya itu reflection. Reflection about x axis. So, from negative 2, pergi 2. Terbalik lah. And then, here the changes is 1. Okay, ada plus 1. Tak kisahlah plus 1 ni kat depan ke, kat belakang ke. Kalau plus 1 kat belakang pun sama juga. So, move upward by 1 unit. Originally, negative 2 go to negative 1. 2 go to 3. So, this is the final answer, the latest graph. Dekat X ni masih tak berubah from 0 until 2 pi according to the question yang berubah cuma dekat Y. And this is the final answer. This question is from your homework. Homework 83. Transformation of trigonometric graph. Sketch the following trigonometric function by using transformation technique. So, we will start from y equal cos x. The question want us to sketch from negative pi until pi. Originally, graph y equal cos x is like this. But, this one is from 0 until 2 pi. Okay, let's add another cycle. This one is until negative 2 pi. So, in the middle here is pi. Since the equation only went from negative pi until pi, we have to take from here pi, negative pi until pi. Okay, that is the answer for A. Y equal cos x, but from negative pi until pi. Sorry. Pi over 2. 
negative pi over 2, negative pi, pi over 2, pi, and the amplitude is 1, negative 1. So plot. And extend. Okay. This is the graph for y equal cos x from negative pi until pi. Okay, ni tadi saya tunjuk. Kalau one cycle is like this from 0 until 2 pi. We add another cycle from 0 until negative 2 pi. Tapi kita nak pi tu kita ambil from here until here. So this is the shape of the graph. B. B, y equal cos 2x. Y equal cos 2x. Okay. Dua ni darab dekat x. Dua darab dekat x yang berubah adalah x. What we do here is we will... Okay, because we are using transformation technique, perubahan pada x, multi apply x by 1 over 2. Okay. Kalau perubahan dia pada y, kita akan terus darab macam tadi. Ni 2 kan. Tapi dia darab dekat depan. So terus multiply y by 2. Tapi bila 2 tu darab dekat x, multiply x by 1 over 2. Okay. Kalau awak dah tak ingat, awak kena go back lah to the transformation uh, teknik untuk graph. That we learned before this. Okay, multiply x by 1 over 2. Pi over 2 jadi pi over 4. Pi akan jadi pi over 2. Maksudnya, graf kita akan jadi kemek sikit. Okay, dia akan jadi lebih kemek. Okay. So, we have to start from pi over 4. Sebab pi over 2 akan jadi pi over 4, pi akan jadi pi over 2. Same goes on the left side, negative pi over 4 and negative pi over 2. Amplitude 1, negative 1. Plot and extend. Okay, so this is the new graph for y equal cos 2x. Okay, however, uh, the graph, the question want us to sketch from negative pi until pi. So we have to add, okay, we have to extend the graph until pi. So after pi over 2 is 3 over 4 pi and then plus Pi over 2, we get pi. So, kena extend lah. Sampai sini, sini. So, graf kita akan naik. Okay, same goes on the left. Negative pi over 2 and then negative 3 over 4 pi. Negative pi. Extend the graph. Okay, this is what you get for y equal cos 2x. Originally, kalau ambil the original cycle is from here until here. Sebab pi dah jadi pi over 2. Jadi pi over 2. Tapi kita kena jawab soalan lah. Soalan nak from negative pi until pi. So, this is the new graph. C. C. Y equal 3 cos 2x. Okay. Satu benda awak kena ingat, benda ni bersambung eh. So, daripada sini, kita sambung sini, sambung sini. Okay. So, based on this graph, kali ni beza dia dah ada darab 3. Okay, darab 3 kat depan. Okay. Kalau kat depan, multiply y by 3. Okay, kalau dekat X, dia kena jadi 1 per. Okay, kalau kat sini 4, darab 1 per 4. Ya, 
ni darab dekat depan multiply y by 3. So the original uh, amplitude is 1 negative 1. Sekarang graf kita akan jadi tinggi lah. Sebab so, dia pergi 3 negatif 3. Negatif 3. Okey, yang lain-lain sama. Ni negatif pi. Pi. Tengah-tengah ni. Pi over 2. Negatif pi over 2. Okey, the shape of the graph did not change. Value for x axis did not change. Cuma amplitude lah. Okey, graph kita jadi lebih tinggi. And then finally, D. Y equal 3 cos 2x minus pi. Okay, kalau macam ni maksudnya ada phase shift. Phase shift bergerak ke kanan ataupun ke kiri. Macam mana nak dapatkan phase shift? Ambil value dalam bracket. So 2x minus pi equal 0. X equal pi over 2. Okay, positif. Bila positif maksudnya graf kita akan bergerak ke kanan. By pi over 2 unit. Okay, ambil daripada C. Imagine dia kena gerak ke kanan. Sebanyak pi per 2. So, contoh ni pi. Dia akan pergi ke kanan. So, pi tambah pi per 2. Jadi, 3 per 2 pi. Okay. Daripada pi per 2, dia akan pergi kanan. Dia pergi dekat pi. So, ni nanti pergi sini. Okey dan seterusnya. So kita cuba sketch. Pi over 4. Pi over 2. The amplitude is 3, negative 3. Okay. Kalau asalnya ini dekat pi, dia gerak. Okay, gerak dia akan pergi dekat negative 3 pi over 4. Okay, mula dari sini lah. Ini kosong. Kosong dia akan pergi dekat pi over 2. Okey sini. Kosong pergi pi over 2. Pi over 2 pergi dekat pi. Sini. So ni akan turun. Ni eh. So, kita ambil shape yang ni. We take this shape from negative pi over 2 until pi over 2. Daripada negative pi per 2, dia akan pergi dekat kosong. Ini daripada kosong, pergi dekat pi per 2. So, macam ni lah. Okay. Dan kalau kita sambung. Turun balik. Okay. Ini. Shape this. Kita ambil ni sekali lagi. Kita tengok dari sini. Ini dekat kosong. Kosong ni pindah ke pi per 2. So sekarang shape ni kat sini lah. Ni. Pi per 2. So sebelah sini pun sama. Extend. Pergi dekat 
negative pi per 2. So this is the final graph. Let's try question from tutorial 18. Tutorial 18, I choose question number 8. Determine the amplitude period and phase shift of fx equal negative 3 sine x over 2 minus pi over 2. Hence, sketch the graph of fx for negative 2 pi less equal x less equal 2 pi. The amplitude. is negative 3, so modulus negative 3 equal 3. Period. Period 2 pi over alpha. And the value of alpha is 1 over 2. 2 pi divided by 1 over 2 equal 4 pi. And then phase shift. Phase shift, take everything inside the bracket. Okay, untuk phase shift x over 2 minus pi over 2 equal 0. And from there, we get x equal 5. Okay, x equal 5. Positive. Maksudnya, graph kita akan gerak ke kanan by pi unit. Okay, hence, sketch the graph. Okay, I always start from uh, one cycle. Okay, one complete cycle of the graph. Okay, ini adalah graph negative sign. Graph negative sign. Kita buat y equal negative sign x. Negative. Sorry, this is not y equal negative sign x. Uh, following this graph. Uh, no, following this function, the amplitude of the graph is 3, negative 3, and then the size of one cycle is 4 pi. Okay, amplitude 3, period 4 pi. Pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and 4 pi. Okay, this is one cycle, okay? For the graph. And then. The question only one from negative 2 pi until 2 pi. So kita buat yang baru. Okay, kalau 2 pi sampai sini saja, Sampai sini. Amplitude. Amplitude 3. Ini sampai 2 pi. Pi. In, from the first cycle okay? Sebab tu Lebih senang kalau kita mula dengan cycle yang pertama Kita tahu amplitude 3 Period 4 pi So ini One cycle Tapi Soalan nak daripada negative 2 pi to 2 pi Jadi kita ambil sampai sini sajalah Ni Dan sebelah kiri pun Kita sambung So ni negative 2 pi Ni negative pi Amplitude negative 3. Okay, this one is from negative 2 pi until 2 pi. <coughs> Dan yang ketiga, kita kena buat untuk phase shift. Phase shift, graph ni akan gerak ke kanan sebanyak pi unit. Okay, gerak ke kanan sebanyak pi unit. Kalau ini kosong, dia akan pergi dekat pi. So, pi. Ini pi akan pergi dekat 2 pi.
negative hmm, pi akan pergi dekat kosong tiga negatif tiga Oh, ok. I'm really sorry. Kita salah bentuk eh daripada asal tadi. Sebab graf ni adalah negative sign. Sorry, let's do it again. Kita buat semula. Okay, again. Untuk negatif, grafnya terbaliklah. Amplitude 3, negatif 3, and period is 4 pi. So, pi. 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. Okay, but then the question only one from negative 2 pi until 2 pi. So, kita akan ambil sampai sini. Dan kita extend sebelah kiri. This is until 2 pi. Okay, following this shape. And then extend for the left side. So, negative 2 pi, negative pi, pi and 2 pi. Amplitude is still 3. Three negative 3. Okay. So, this is from negative 2 pi until 2 pi. And lastly, we want to add the phase shift. This graph will move to the right by pi. Okay. Amplitude 3, negative 3. Okay, let's start from 0. 0 will move to pi here. And then pi will move to 2 pi. Pi will move to 2 pi here. And we get this part from 0. From 0, move to pi. Then from pi, move to 2 pi. Okay, pi move to 0. And then negative 2 pi move to pi. So let's extend this pi first. And this is what we get. Ni, kita dapat dari sini sampai sini. Okay. Sebab dia dah move negative 2 pi pergi pi. Pi pergi kosong, kosong pergi pi, pi pergi to pi. So, untuk ni, we can just extend until here. So, this is the graph from negative 2 pi until 2 pi bila kita move ke kanan by pi unit. Okay, one more question. This one is from homework 84. Determine the amplitude period and phase shift for this graph, for this function, and sketch the graph. Okay. Amplitude. Negative 2. Modulus, negative 2. So, amplitude 2. Period. 2 pi over alpha. X over 2. So, 2 pi over 1 over 2, we get 4 pi. 
and then face shift okay to find face shift take everything inside the bracket x over 2 plus pi over 2 equal 0 we get x equal negative pi okay negative pi meaning that the graph will move to the left the graph will move to the left by pi unit Okay, let's start from the first cycle. So, the, this graph is cos and negative. Cos negative with amplitude 2 and period 4 pi. Okay, the first graph. One cycle, eh? Amplitude 2, negative 2. And the size of one cycle is 4 pi. 3 pi, 2 pi, pi. Okay, this is one cycle of the graph. Amplitude 2, uh, period 4 pi. Okay, so alam nak daripada negative 2 pi until 2 pi. So, kita akan ambil sampai sini. Then, kita akan extend sebelah lagi. Okay, ambil sampai 2 pi. Ni 2 pi. Pi. So, kalau sambung lagi sebelah. Macam ni lah. Amplitude 2. Negatif 2. Sini negatif pi. Negatif 2 pi. Okay, this one is from negative 2 pi until 2 pi. Ini untuk satu cycle. Tapi kita tengok soalan nak negatif 2 pi, 2 pi. So, macam ni bentuk dia. And then lastly, kita akan buat phase shift. Phase shift, graph ni akan gerak ke kiri. Sebab kita dapat x equal negative pi. So, negative meaning move to the left by pi unit. Okay, let's start from 0. Ni 0, dia akan pergi ke negative pi. So, 2, negative 2. 0 pergi negative pi, here. Ni naik, daripada pi pergi dekat 0. Macam ni, naik. Ni ke atas. From 2 pi, dia akan pergi dekat pi. Macam ni. And then, ni, negative pi. Pergi dekat, oh no, we start from, kita start dari sini tadi. Ni naik latas lah. Hmm. Negative pi pergi kat sini. Okay, kita sambung extend setakat apa yang kita dah plot ok ni and then untuk sampai 2 pi sini so, tadi saya ambil daripada sini kan kosong oh, no sini negative pi ni dia akan pergi dekat kosong so sini Kita tengok semula. Ini pi pergi dekat 2 pi. Hmm. Yang naik ni dekat sini. Alright. So, this is the final graph. And that is all for this topic. Thank you.